Hi, thank you for uh, watching this video. This is Dan Altman with Marine Max in Stewart. Uh, today I'm going to present to you a new model that uh, was just released by Cruiser Yachts. Um, this is a 50 foot GLS outboard, so Grand Luxury Sport outboard. This is their um, big day boat, big luxury day boat. It does have a proper cabin that sleeps four. Uh, you'll see that in a minute. Uh, with it in a closed head, closed shower, uh, fully equipped, and you can bring the family and the neighbors with you on this boat. Um, she is designed to be a great Bahamas and South Florida Keys cruising boat. Um, you can go to the sandbar, you can go to the, the restaurant, and you can go on a vacation. So I'll take you through the boat. On the outside here you can see great window lines on the boat. That is looking out from the cabin. Um, visibility is amazing from the helm. You'll see that in just a minute. Um, we also have the beach gunnels. So both gunnels, port and starboard side, they fold down. We've got them down already just to show you in this video. Um, to make docking easy before we go up, we do have a bow thruster. So that is incorporated into the joystick, which this boat has triple 600 V12 Mercury's on it. And when you move that joystick, it moves the outboard engines and it links up to the bow thruster automatically. So that's easy, easy docking for any novice out there. Um, and then experts, they appreciate that as well. We have an aggressive offshore hull design to keep you dry and smooth on this boat. Uh, she's a performance boat. She cruises in the 40 mile an hour range and she tops out uh, just over 50. So why don't we walk on up and we'll check the boat out. All right, so we're up on the cockpit of, of the boat. This is, a, of course, across the transom. This is the triple Mercury 600 V12s. You can see the service hood. We've got them trimmed up a bit. And Cruisers design this swim platform where it'll lower down when the engines are down. So you lower the engines down, lower this down, and you've got great walk space throughout that supports this summer kitchen. In our summer kitchen on this particular unit, we do have two barbecue grills, and that is a wet bar sink on the far side there. So that's nice, it's out of the way, it's back in the back, so you don't have, you know, when you're cooking the smoke and all that. So that's in the back, good entertaining area as well. And then we have storage underneath, along with our 50 amp shore power service, uh, water inlet, and cable television inlet. So I'll take you through the boat, we do have the beach mode wings down, which is great for when you're anchored up. I've got the sunshade out already. It's a motorized sunshade. And it does have support poles that clip in here down to the floor to keep this steady in some windy conditions. A full back seat that's got the diamond stitching in it. There's storage underneath all the seats. And we have a high gloss varnish table so this is actually two tables that make one plenty of deck space here um, two l-shaped loungers as you can see so really a great entertaining area um, in the floor we have our bilge access and as you can see sea keeper six just after that is a Kohler generator that is a uh, diesel generator. So we're operating gas engines with diesel generator for safety. Also produces a lot more kilowatts of power and there's no carbon monoxide with diesel generators. So we get a lot more life on it, uh, more time away from the dock. So that's a proper way to build this boat. Lower this back down. This particular boat has the S-Tech uh, flooring. This is a synthetic teak. This one's in gray, which is uh, easy to clean. Uh, it's relatively maintenance free. And if you do happen to damage it, we can fix it easily. So uh, walking forward, here's another prep station entertaining area. We have two refrigerators that open. I'll open one of them here. So waters and sodas and then all your drinks. This is a, a 50 inch TV that pops up. So it comes up, of course, a wet bar, and then you have a cabinet here 
to store all your bottles for serving. Um, something kind of neat, you have stainless steel cup holders and you have three charging pads for your phones. There's one at the helm and there's three here for your guest. So neat features that are out these days and that's waterproof. All right, over on the port side, we have a, a nice L-shaped lounge, or I call it a cruising lounge because it is near the helm. Um, you can do, uh, have uh, dining, you can uh, have a dinner here as well because the table will expand open. Um, there's great storage underneath. There's drawer storage. There's another drawer storage here. And what I like about what Cruisers does is they hinge their seats. So they're properly hinged. They're double stitched and mesh backs to keep everything dry. So um, most all the seats do that. Um, port and starboard windows, they do open. So those are electric. You have the sunroof that opens. That is uh, partially open right now. And then this window here, it shuts off fully. So you have a, a, a safety door and a wind door that closes and then the window for the wind shuts as well. So you can close this off on, uh, on days that the weather's not cooperating or just to block the wind when you're cruising over on long trips. Um, two fridges there and then we have an ice maker here. So well equipped, well appointed up here. Great sound system. Um, you might have saw in the video earlier there's speakers mounted in the overhead of this boat and of course subwoofer down in the, um, the cabinetry. At the helm, quite comfortable. My visibility is fantastic. There's very little bow rise in this boat. You know, 50 foot outboard boat, triple engine. It's comfortable as I'm sitting here and I'm cruising along. I have one lever control, so all engines on one lever. In autopilot mode, my joystick can um, adjust my angle as I need. So I can do one degree or 10 degrees, and it's just right here in a relaxed position. Um, for those people that need an extra step, the boat is equipped with a five inch step. So now I can look down on the water column, look down on the bow, and uh, have a little more elevation. And I'm 6'1", and you can see I still have plenty of room. Three SIMRAD screens. These screens are linked into the boat. They're linked in for navigation. And our center screen, they're all three do the same. You just pick your application that you want, which is chart, fish finder, the boat is equipped with it, radar, engine, or cruisers data. I'll go into the cruisers, which is the digital switching for that. And you can see it pops up with a picture of the boat. Just press here. Now this opens all the windows attached to uh, this area here. So you have the wind door, which is going to the bow. You have the vents. You have the aft vents as well. The vents are here, by the way. So these open to direct airflow in. So, and then if I wanted to control my lighting, I just go into my lighting page and I can turn on and off lights as well. Uh, your tanks, waste and water, batteries, so you can see what we got on the charge on the batteries, whether how they're holding between my thruster, engines and the house. And then we have a, um, a mechanics page. So. Uh, very simple to use. The SimRad is new to a lot of people. It's the best screens in the industry right now. And you just pick your application. And it is works just like an iPad. Pinch and zoom. Scroll over. Pick where you want to go. And just let her eat. In addition, we have a SeaKeeper stabilizer. I don't have it turned on. We're sitting on land. But SeaKeeper 6. Showed you that down in the uh, equipment room. VHF. This is the proportional bow thruster that is linked to that joystick. And then spotlight, of course. Tilt steering. Let's see if there's anything else. All right, so I mentioned we have tilt steering wheel. And then we also have a defroster for the wind, for the, um, for the glass. 
So let me take you up to the bow here. Um, a lot of the controls are here as well for all these windows. So the captain has control as well as over here. A couple of storage compartments here, just simple storage. And then I'm gonna walk up to the bow. So we have two drain systems to keep water out. And this is pretty slick. So this just pulls over. This is only just a uh, spring hinge. Glass comes over, nice and easy. Very simple. This is the um, skylights going down in the cabin. You'll see that when we go downstairs. Great lounging space for the family. We have a table. Um, it is in the lounger position now. It'll go all the way to the floor. It goes to this position. We have a cushion that's downstairs in the closet right now to fill it in for a sun bath, And then all the way up for dining. There is on this boat a sunshade. So they clip in here. There's four poles that pop in for a sunshade. Anchor windless system with push button up and down. And this is one of my favorite areas is a refrigerated cool box. So, and then you got a trash can as well. Uh, access into the bilge for storage. And while you're up here entertaining, you can access your stereo equipment. And you can open and close the window for wall passage and then your table. So just a well-equipped bow. Also, notice this is all fiberglass, gel coat, simple maintenance, keep it waxed, and you have a high gunnel, so it's safe for the kids. So let's go downstairs in the cabin, and I'll show you around. What's that? Uh, so we're down in the cabin now. This is our landing area from the cockpit, uh, which comes into just a common area. We have a microwave. There's a refrigerator here as well. Everybody likes to see inside the fridge. There's an ice compartment if you want to put some ice cream or uh, tray ice in there. Uh, power outlet in here, nice lighting, just well finished. The quality of the wood is just American made, just high quality. Um, in the aft berth is designed to be a very large sleeper, so we have a filler cushion that fills in. It's partially filled in now. They come out. So you have opposing sofas or this is pretty much a king size bed. Looking over here, we have a, a television and of course reading lights. You have rope lights around and then our distribution panel. You can't quite see it, but it's in a cabinet over here. That's our AC distribution panel for shore power generator power and just breakers for that equipment. So um, Ford, uh, I'm going to show you the uh, private stateroom and also the head here now. So I'm going to come out here. Our head compartment. So one thing to point out is they did engineer a vibration gasket into all the doors. So you don't have that annoying creaking and rattling. And when people are living on the boat together, you don't, it's a less noise transmission. So in here we have our, our vacuum flush toilet fresh water system. You have place to hang towels, medicine cabinet with deep storage in it, and great counter space synthetic marble that's in it. Um, plenty of, of room. And then we have, do have an enclosed shower that on a boat of this style without boards, day boat, most boats don't have an enclosed shower without the head in it. The head is outside the shower and it is plenty of space. You have a wand and then a seat. So, and this is ventilated in here as well. Um, up in the bow, again, the doorways have the gaskets in it. This is our, our stateroom and you can see a custom queen. Notice the skylights. You can shut this or have plenty of light coming in. There's great closet space in here over the starboard side. There's a bunch of pillows and whatnot in here, but you can kind of see if you just look up. So we're just using it for storage right now for the pillows and um, the sunbed filler cushion. 
Counter space on both sides with cubbies. And then you do have a storage cabinet above the starboard side there. So well appointed, quite comfortable. You really don't feel like you're in a cruising outboard boat. You feel like you're more in a yacht. So, um, and then you didn't see that behind me was another television. So there's three televisions on the boat, one in the cockpit, aft, state, aft berth, and then this berth. So that concludes our short tour of this new cruiser's yachts, uh, 50 GLS outboard. Um, look me up here at Marine Max and Stewart. My name is Dan Altman. Be glad to help you. Thank you.